Located in Florissant, Missouri, the Narrow Gauge Brewing Company is giving Washington University in St. Louis students a tour. And then you can see the stuff that we have this field trip may seem like an escape from some grueling classes before finals, although things aren't always what they may seem. That was our second batch. That was a, pretty good. I can smell it, yeah. Brewing this beer is a big part of their engineering class at the McKelvey School of Engineering. I have four teams of five students that brew beers. So we have a lot of beer that they brew. They brew three batches of beer in a semester. I was just surprised how many styles of beer there were. You could go a trillion different directions with every beer. You might end up with four and three quarters instead of This course is called Introduction to Zymergy. So Zymergy is sort of the art of beer brewing. And the course is designed for seniors in the Department of Energy, Environmental, and Chemical Engineering. When you're working with biologicals, so when we're working with yeast to ferment our beer, that's has this level of uncertainty that we're not really used to. So for me, it was surprising to have all the calculations done exactly right, and then for the final product to be different than we expected. Process control, as an environmental engineer, we deal less with kind of like the piping and, and transfer from one process component to the next. Um, that's more so like the chemical engineers, or they, they, they take like process control classes. This is really my first exposure to it, um, which has been really helpful in terms of getting a bigger idea of like what a system means in engineering. I'm the instructor in this class. Um, I actually started this class. The class was kind of an idea that students came up with about six years ago when they wanted to have a practical type of experience class to learn how to apply their knowledge of what they've learned in their classes. And they said, does anybody know how to brew beer? And I, I did. And I said, well, I could do this, uh, but you have to ask the university if they would allow that. And so this is, the students actually came in and, and petitioned the department if we could have a class like this. So what looks like a cool class to take is actually hard work. The fundamentals behind brewing beer, many of which are chemical engineering and environmental engineering processes. Chemical engineering, we do things like extraction, concepts like heat transfer, and environmental engineering concept. For one, I can say wastewater treatment. When you brew, you generate a lot of wastewater. So you gotta make sure that's treated, reused, recycled as much as possible, and then you know treated properly before release. Even the tours are a learning experience. Actually, what well, you're gonna find out when you go to Anheuser-Busch, they're their wastewater plant is just a large bioreactor. That's all it is. That's their wastewater plant. It's, in fact, their wastewater plant, you're going to love this, it's called Beers, B-E-R-S, Bioenergy Recovery System. Beers, what a great name for a wastewater plant at a brewery. <laughs> St. Louis is a beer city because it has a bush, and when the craft beer scene took off, it's a good place to locate craft breweries. One of them is Narrow Gauge. I uh, happen to know the owner there. He's an engineer. Our students end up doing a lot of things after they graduate, and one option for them is, of course, entrepreneurship, and we just want them to get an idea. Being entrepreneurial, starting their own venture. The students are taking that entrepreneurial spirit to heart, developing some fun marketing and bottle labeling skills. So right now we're just trying to figure out what makes sense in terms of pictures. So we have the idea for a nice like forest backdrop um, with the name of our beer, which is going to be Misty IPA. So we want some like fog, some haze, and we want it to like reflect the name. For Matt Greenberg, this brew is a special surprise for his dad at graduation. We chose to brew a clone of Watney's Cream Stout, which is a decommissioned brewery in London, um, I believe in the mid 2000s. Um, so when they were brewing their beer, my dad was drinking this um, here in St. Louis in like the 90s and he really enjoyed it. He still says it's his favorite beer that he's ever had. So I thought it would be pretty cool to give him um, a couple bottles during graduation and we just have like a moment together. So I thought it'd be nice. Yeah, yeah. So cheers, cheers to, to the graduates, their families, and their innovative beers. It's their graduating semester, so it's kind of like a, a nice way to end their college career at WashU.